What's up, everyone? I'm Fireburst, and I'm here to talk a little about Battlefield 3. Now, we're in May, and as you know, it's almost June. And the new DLC of Close Quarters is going to be coming out soon. And this DLC has gotten so much hate and a little bit of love. I've seen a lot of comments about people saying that they really don't want to get it. And some are saying they might get it just for the weapons and I'm actually one of those people I actually kinda like the new style of this close quarters kinda thing and I also don't like it I was actually hoping for some bigger maps but I'll just have to wait for the uh, armored kill DLC and of course we're gonna have to wait months and months to get it back to get one but as far as this close quarters thing it's a new direction, and we just have to, like, face it. Of course, if we wanted a close quarters game, we'd play Call of Duty, which a lot of people do. But I actually have MW3, but I barely even play it because Battlefield is just so much more fun, in my opinion. But I'm actually interested in this new DLC. At first, I was hating it a lot, and I was just like all the other Battlefield, like, hardcore fans. And... I don't know, I just started warming up to it after playing a few games in Metro and that was actually my like least favorite map. I absolutely despised that map so much. But after a while I started like, hey, this is not too bad. It's a different pace and, and style of Battlefield. And I, I like like having a variety in a game. I don't like playing the same type of stuff every single game. But playing at close quarters, yeah, it's it's not Battlefield or it's sort of like it, but it's a new direction, it's something else, a new pace that I like, and it's just different. And because of that, I'm actually looking forward to this DLC, and I'm probably going to get it. One of the biggest things, one of the biggest reasons why I would get it is for the new guns. I really like the, the lineup and the list of these guns, and that's actually a sort of the, another reason why I'm going to get it, because I love the new weapons that you can get. I love bold action snipers, so... I'm also uh, excited about the new uh, sniper that's so showcased in the latest trailer. But we all have to just admit it that we do want to play it. There's a lot of people saying that they're not going to get it, but eventually they're probably going to get it because their friends are going to get it. And then everyone's going to end up getting it, and they're going to say, hey, this is not too bad. What I like about this, these trailers is that it's showcasing that they're not like Metro, where it's just a straight line linear towards the objective it's just straight or backwards there's no way to flank really and for these new maps there's actually going to be uh, vertical maps they're going to have upstairs downstairs basements and that's something that's going to be interesting because it's going to be different you're going to have uh, uh, rooms you're going to have like the balconies you're going to have the roof uh, you're going to have like underground tunnels and that's going to give it some different, like, map areas for different play styles. And hopefully on Rush, it's going to go from, like, the bottom up or trying to do stuff. And, it, and it'll just give it a whole new style and gameplay. Now, obviously, a lot of people will be thinking, hey, I'm not going to get this because it's not Battlefield. This is not what Battlefield is all about. Bring us Armored Kill. I have to agree with that, but also disagree. And there's a reason because... I want to have some variety of different maps. I love new maps. That's what I want. I was hoping that we would get these DLCs like one after another after a few, like maybe a, a month, like gap at most, but that's not going to happen. But, and I'm also hoping that we can get some new trailers in because it's almost June and we only have two trailers and I want to see what the other two look like before I'm like really set on this DLC. Of course... Uh, PS3 is going to get it one week early, so I guess everyone's going to see what they think of it and stuff because you have to remember something. Consoles only have 24 players, and PC has 64. Are they going to have a limit on how many people are going to be in these maps, or is it going to have like everybody in for the PC? Like all 64 people, close quarters combat, and it's just going to be chaotic. Or are they, they going to make it only 24, like consoles? So, 
because of that reason, I don't think it's actually going to look like the uh, trailer. Of course, you all know that DICE makes everything look so much more epic than sometimes it actually is. Uh, for consoles, it's not always the same for the trailer, maybe for the PC. And because of that, I'm, I'm kind of worrying about how it's going to be playing with only 24 players for these close quarters game because Metro is a lot of fun sometimes with a lot of people. The only time it's actually entertaining is if nobody's like getting destroyed and it's kind of like going back and forth on the battles and stuff so, so that way there's no spawn killing. And that's what makes Metro something new. And that's just my opinion about these new maps. I'm actually saying, hey, all those hardcore ba battlefield players we should all just give it a try you know it's only 15 bucks it's not a brand new game we're buying it's just a little something that they're giving to us and it also comes with brand new weapons new maps uh, hopefully a little bit of a patch on an m26 dart glitch and let's hope that everything goes well i'm actually excited for it and hopefully you guys can give it a chance too and if you agree with anything i've said Feel free to leave a like and maybe even a sub to keep up with my latest videos. Alright, see you guys later.